Hey everyone, Shakras or Killbot here, and today I bring you some kill gameplay where I absolutely carry the game because I'm the best player in the world. No, JK. Uh, just footage to have in the background while I speak about uh, more important stuff. So, today I wanted to talk about the Lich Bane nerfs and how that affects building Kale. So, to start, Lich Bane's proc was changed from 50 flat damage plus 75% of the user's AP to 75% of the base AD plus 50% of the user's AP. Now, while the first part was actually a slight buff, uh, because 75% of base AD for Kale is usually more than 50 AD, the nerf on 25% of the Lich Bane's AP proc is actually a pretty big hit, and combined with all the other nerfs she has received before, it's actually a pretty big nerf overall for Kale. So, I've been doing two different things to adapt to the lack of burst that Kale lost since she got nerfed and paired with these Lich Bane changes. The first one is running Ionian Boots of Lucidity. Now, not getting Sorcerer's Shoes might seem weird, but I really only get them now when I'm stomping. The extra penetration is nice and all, but the extra utility is really strong and underrated. With the setup, I'll get 35% CDR and get the remaining 10% from blue buffs. However, this doesn't mean that sorcerers, berserkers, or any type of defensive boots like mercs are bad. I just prefer running the Ionian boots of lucidity because of teamfight utility. You unlock true power on kill when your CDR levels are lower. With a 35-40% to 40 CDR, I can have my Reckoning up every 5 seconds, my Divine Blessing on a 9-10 to 10 second cooldown, my Righteous Fury is always ready to be activated, meaning I have no downtime, and Intervention is on a very low cooldown as well. The second thing I've been doing is not rushing Glitch Bane right after Nasher's Tooth. Usually after Nasher's Tooth, Glitch Bane and one or two Dorans, you'll have about 180-200 to 200 AP. Now, with the new Lich Bane, this means your proc will hit an estimate of 163 magic damage, and I'm assuming you're about level 14, which is when I usually get my Lich Bane when I rush it after Nash's Tooth. Now, this isn't too far off from Sheen's damage, which is 92.5 per Sheen proc, so you're only getting really 70 extra damage on the proc from getting the Lich Bane. So what I've been doing is I'll usually grab Nash's Tooth into Sheen and stop there. You won't get much out of Lich Bane by then, so you need to grab extra AP before completing it. What I'll usually do is grab a Death Cap or a Zhonya's before completing Lich Bane. If you're not sure, just get a needlessly large rod and then complete your Lich Bane. Overall, I still think Kale's in a decent spot. She still has good damage, but nowadays she'll struggle a bit more if she falls behind. Before I finish, I'd just like to share what I'm currently using on Kale for runes and masteries. So for runes, I'm using attack speed marks, armor seals, magic resist flat usually, uh, glyphs and AP quints, and I also run one crit seal and one crit mark because I like the, the RNG. And for masteries, I'm currently running 2307. So I grab the split points in mana regen and movement speed and the points in cooldown reduction on flash because Kale is not very mobile. And on offense, I grab pretty much uh, all the important points except for the extra AP which I feel is really not needed as much. So that's all for today, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in the rift, Chakra is signing out.